Derek? Stacy? I hope you don't mind. Your doorman said that it was okay. What are you doing here? Well, I know that the police questioned you, and I just oh, figured that it was it, better... Damn it, your brother's got a big mouth. Or was it your roommate? No, Cass told me, but I can get Cass to tell me anything. I did not want you involved in this. Well, I kind of had a right to know. What right did you have? The kind of rights you have when you care about someone. And I do, you know. I care about you. More than I've ever let on. In the flesh. I'm gonna go with Josie. You didn't say much on the phone. It was kind of hard to talk. It was Russ's apartment. He was always there. But it was wonderful to see her. I'm relieved that she's okay. Very relieved. Yeah, I'll bet. I couldn't wait to get home, though, and talk the whole thing over with you. Yeah. I hate long distance, John. I, um, I'm always thinking about the money. I don't know. It's stupid. stupid. Josie, come home with you? No, she didn't. Um, she and Matt decided to stay in New York City for a while longer, be together. So it was just you and Russ on the trip home. John, I, I thought you'd be out at the farm when I got back. You did? Of course I did. You know you're the first person I'd want no, to see. No, no, I, I don't know that. I knew it. What? You're furious at me, aren't you? Okay. No, I have to. We can't ignore this. We have to. Do you know that every time I get so close to you that I ache because I want to touch you? No. It's the same for you, isn't it? Isn't it? Have you heard from Amanda yet? Hi, Sam. Hi. Have you heard from Amanda yet? Oh, I'm sorry. I assume she's still at the office. Yeah. Sam, she won't always be keeping these irregular hours. This is a difficult time. Well, I hope not. Otherwise, Allie's not going to know what she looks like. Mrs. Corey. Yes, Helen. These are for you. Who sent them? I, I couldn't find a card. Wait a second. Here. Here you go. What? It's our anniversary. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was your anniversary. This isn't his handwriting. I'm going to call the floor, see who sent these. Should I take them away? Of course not. Yeah, this is Sam Fowler at the Corey household. Mrs. Corey just got a bouquet of flowers. I'd like to know who sent them, please. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have brought them in. Of course you should have brought them in. Yeah. Oh. They're beautiful flowers. He only forgot our anniversary one time. He was in the middle of a merger or something. He just forgot. That morning, he didn't say anything, so I figured... Something was going to happen during the course of the day. Nothing did. So then I figured he had planned something for the evening. 
Yeah. Thank you. I had um, prepared a very elegant dinner, and I got all dressed up, and I put his present by his place. And then when he finally came home, all he said was, well, what's the occasion? What'd you do? I dumped the champagne over his head. That's probably why he never forgot you. They are from him, aren't they? He had a, has a standing order at the florist to send you a bouquet of flowers on your birthday and your anniversary. They were very apologetic. It's all right. They're beautiful flowers.